Hello everyone, Marina is here with you and uh, I want to ask you a question today. Do you ever get overwhelmed or like fed up with chasing life, chasing your dreams and then you just have to like take time off, take a break from it all? So it, it was really happening to me this whole month and uh, January was just such a roller coaster, emotional one, mental one and even a physical one, my body got like really tired and I got sick. So I had to rethink this whole pausing and going, going, going in life kind of thing. And it's interesting, we do live in this like complete dualistic world, whether we want it that way or not, that's the reality of it. And um, I wanted to take the, uh, uh, the example of the Super Bowl. We had the um, biggest, uh, uh, you know, halftime performance in the entire history. Um, the performance by J-Lo and Shakira was like the most watched YouTube video. And it's interesting of the the opposing reactions that it was creating in the world. Some people loved it. Women were like, yes, it's so beautiful to see women expressing their sexuality and sensuality on the biggest stage of the, in the world and then others were like trashing it down you know what's what a disgrace and you know a terrible example to our children and sexualizing women and i was like wow you know i could easily see myself getting sucked into you know one spectrum of the conversation or the other and really it's like let's not forget there's a whole spectrum in between you know and uh i don't have to be one or the other at you know either times that I want to and I can be anything in between at any given time so for me it's just having the freedom to be you know anybody who I want to be in any given moment there's a time and um, place for anything and uh, I'm not gonna start judging or you know forcing myself personally to be one or the other or anything in between um, constantly you know, where I can be everything in between. So I was really encouraging women to, you know, embrace this concept of, uh, you know, having the freedom to be who we are. And, and then there's this whole dualistic concept that's coming up of like doing, 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 and we can address it or see it from, you know, the masculine feminine energy where the masculine is really, you know, go, go, go all the time and go get it. And uh, sometimes, you know, this, this feminine flowy energy can also, you know, the extreme of that is like we're not progressing in life. You know, we can just be, um, you know, in that flowy energy, um, you know, but we're not really moving the needle forward. So, and I'm getting a lot of uh, questions and answers, especially like after the first month of 2020, after people have created their visions 2020 and created these massive beautiful goals and dreams for themselves you know so i got a few phone calls that are like ah, it's it's really hard or you know I'm, I'm i'm being you know constrained by the structure of it um there's too much discipline i feel locked in it or you know i want to be in a state of flow so which one is it you know how can i balance them out how can i be in this you know going out state and then you know taking time for ourselves just to, you know, be in that flow and having the freedom, structure and flow. So it keeps on coming up. And to me, uh, I don't believe in balance. Although, you know, I taught yoga for a decade and it's, it's all about balance. I think, you know, we are always, you know, very often in like one or the other or somewhere in between. And it's not a blend of both. Um, and, and we have to be in either, you know, going states or this, you know, flowy state. And um, it can get very brainy on one end when we are in this like masculine way of going out and, you know, productive um, stage in our, in our life, in our day where we're just doing and we have to be constructive and we have to respond and we have to provide answers and service and, uh, you know, be in action. And then we find ourselves being pulled back into like, I just need to chill, I need to relax, I need to take time with family, kids, you know, nurture myself or self-care. So, you know, and it, the flip side of that, if we are not going into the whole, you know, dualistic nature consciously, 
the, the, the unconscious way of doing it, the flip side of that is, you know, we have those long to-do lists and we're just plowing through it without a sense of purpose and we're not driven, we're no longer inspired, we're just like pushing it forward. And yes, we can get stuff done for sure. We've done it for, we're trained to do that so well. So, you know, a lot of us are masters in that. But then we get fed up. So we got to like, you know, check out completely. We got to, you know, take a vacation from that. We got to unplug. And a lot of times what happens is people either give up and they, they change their projects completely. They change their businesses. They change their, um, their goals and their dreams because of that push and pull. Um, but very often, you know, that lo we lose the momentum of actually doing what we are, you know, what we've set to do. And another way of looking at it and doing it is if we are fully anchored in our hearts, in our purpose. And um, I love that conversation that like, that's my mission in life. That's what I help women do is find their essence and live on purpose. And when we tap into that essence and purpose that's in the heart, and it's a very feminine quality of like being pulled back and really anchor into your deep fire in you, your purpose, your mission where the mama bear comes out. And then when you're going out into the world, your actions are inspired actions. You know, they are on purpose. You are impacting um, other people. You're making a difference out there in the world. And uh, it's a lot more fun, you know. Um, it's also like a more co-creative piece where you know especially for me like I work with women I work with people so the conversations are very alive the transformations are you know tangible and uh, we celebrate it together so it's really awesome so the invitation for me is like actually I had this like metaphor of life being a swing you know we're constantly going in and out you know, being pulled and pushed. Um, so how can we do it in a way that we're not fighting or resisting the ride? Because it's gonna happen. That's one thing that is certain in life is that it is uncertain. There is constant movement. You know, you cannot force, you know, the day from progressing. The night is going to follow day. And you know, the sunrise will follow night. So how can we fully be present in that motion uh, without resisting it? And to me, it's like if we are fully anchored in our hearts in that purpose, then we're moving, you know, in that trajectory of where we need to go, where we are aiming to go. And it's a beautiful ride. So um, that's a conversation is how to use that energy of, you know, mind. You know, the, the flip side of that is we can fall into like, you know, overthinking, um, judging, self-doubt, all that stuff. And instead of that, like, you know, when we are being pulled back instead of like this unconscious checking out and just you know muting ourselves um how can we use that time as a precious opportunity to actually tune into our visions tune into our hearts tune into our purpose and our mission and then when we're going back into the world it's like wow that that movement is purposeful and it's uh, purpose driven so that's the conversation that I wanted to share with you today. It's a big one and I'm trying to, I was trying to make this video a lot shorter, but it's uh, very hard to make this um, into a short video. There's so much to say. I would love your uh, feedback, your questions, your comments about this world of duality and how are you using it? This, you know, going inwards and going outwards in the world. Um, yeah, and I want to also mention that um, this is the reason that, you know, I choose to live on purpose and I love to, uh, to coach and to inspire others, especially other women, to tap into their purpose and mission. And I'm really happy to um, share the news that we're doing a retreat in Tulum with uh, Jeanne Reilly. And uh, the whole theme is actually about really anchoring into your purpose dropping in and deeper layers of it and then when we go out it's more you know it's concrete it's clean it's clear it's like it, you're being pulled by that purpose and um, celebrate each other you know cheer up on each other share share the resources the uh, roadmaps the how how to do it you know because we're all running after the same thing very often trying to do it on our own but uh, this can actually save a lot of energy and time and um, coming back to this like, 
you know, tribal way of doing things too. So I want to invite you to join that uh, journey, the, uh, the adventure, the conversation. And stay tuned because we're going to be doing a little live on Wednesday. Um, so wishing you well, most of all wishing you kindness to yourself. <laughs> Bring some kindness and love and compassion to yourself and keep yourselves happy and healthy. All my love. Bye-bye.